and know our competition. Okay? Um, thank you so much for those who are sponsored and support us, uh, the media, um, especially the Dutch Supporter, our uh, media partner. It's not only on state and national, and now we go into world level. And we wish also more sponsors and uh, more supporters and more partners will come in so to make this uh, international uh, pageant uh, more successful. Okay, we are today. I'll pass the mic back to um, uh, the MC or the, what we call this, uh, the country director, Gracia, uh, to have a few words. Thank you. Hello. Good day to everyone. So I'm representing together with Ms. Natalia, the National Director of <coughs> Philippine Kibaya with Ms. Natalia. Alright, the purpose of this Philippine Kibaya is to, to promote the tourism, the cultures of Malaysia through our the national costume of Malaysia, which is Kibaya. Alright? And then so not only in Philippines also, but of course the whole world. We are expanding and introduce the Kibaya. Alright? So we will have also soon the Russian Kibaya will be announced soon, all right? So now, since uh, not uh, all the candidates are here, all right, so few Filipinos are here, but not only the Philippine Kibaya, but also we want to launch about the Mr. and Miss OFW Setco. Okay, so what is, what's the meaning of Mr. and Miss OFW Setco? Okay. OFW stands for Overseas Foreign Welfare. So it is not only for Filipinos, but as long as you are, you know, any nationalities, even you are a Malaysian, as long you are, you are working in other country, all right? So not only for Filipinos also. And then SEDCO stands for Serve a Power Value Community. The purpose of this event is not only to get the crown, but also to be a good role model in our society. Through, use, uh, through doing a lot of charity works and through helping other people as well. So this is the main object objective of OFW SEPCO. Alright, thank you and I would like to pass uh, this mic to our National Director, Ms. Nicole F. Lee. Uh, for this year, uh, our National Director, Ika and uh, uh, Nico will be taking over the world director so that we will charge of those uh, the country uh, those uh, directors that will involve and also oversee everything they do. Thank you, Dr. Jason K, and thank you so much, Mr. Sajuta, and all the rest of the media who are here with us today. And thank you so much to Rachel, to Natalia, and especially to Valeria as well, our sponsor, and all our beautiful ladies dressed up in our MMK Couture, Bata Nunia. And all the rest of the guests who are with us today. And thank you so much for all the viewers for taking your time to view the, this uh, live event. And yes, the purpose of this press conference is um, to draw awareness to many more world countries organizing the Kobaya competition, which is the Miss and Mrs. Kobaya. Uh, especially, we are starting off with Philippines. So we're going to start off the Philippines and Russia and as well now we are organizing all state competition we are going to have our Suraman uh, competition which is on the 28th of June but uh, this competition is for Malaysians only so uh, it's going to be a very very busy year with all states uh, organizing states all across the country from Suraman to Malacca to Trinidadu to Johor many more and countries like Philippines and Russia coming in and we hope and especially I think we have China from the so we have China so we encourage uh, we encourage people to come and join us we encourage people to come and learn about uh, not only how to organize a building pageant with uh, aiming for the awareness of cultural heritage of Kabaya but of course uh, the unity to our cultural building pageant that's well how we can benefit with, uh, together with one another. And of course, we will thank Tourism Malaysia as well, GPKN, and Club Tanga Malaysia. And especially now we are at the Love Meeting. You know, we thank the Love Meeting uh, for 
sponsoring us all this uh, all the time, uh, most of the time, and especially we recently we had our Ramadan charity cooking class dinner recently right here. So uh, the awareness, the main the main mission of this press conference is we want all ladies from Philippines, from Russia, and our local Malaysians from all over the world to come and take part and uh, know more about our Malaysian beauty culture. And uh, right now I think I will pass the mic to Valeria. Valeria is our sponsor for the Miss and Mrs. Philippines Kabaya 2019. Hi, thank you for well, I would like to say thank you to uh, Rabbi Jensen, uh, Rachel, Natalia, and Nicole. I'm um, Valeria Tunela. I'm the founder of Bells Beach Secret. So I'm going to uh, sponsor uh, to all the video events. Uh. So, um, what I want to tell about you ladies, be confident and uh, you're not only uh, proud to wear our traditional clothes of Kabaya, and I would like you to uh, start uh, doing some marketing a little bit, promote yourself, promote about the, our culture, and you will never know your luck because the competition, like what I've experienced um, <coughs> before, uh, when you uh, attend the beauty pageants, not only uh, you win or not win, some people will look at you and some people will like you, and uh, you might be uh, ambassadors for any product any clothes or whatever it is so uh, i know this is a competition but yeah you must have a different mentality where you always have to look beautiful confident and for me i'm a plus size model and whenever i go for um uh cup audition people laugh at me but you know uh don't tell me buy is only for a slim lady people like me want to wear to buy it too right that's the Jason? and i'm sure i, I look good but i prove people wrong that uh, I won that competition. I know the eldest one and the fat lady on, on the stage. So I want you to have this confidence and uh, wear it and feel beautiful. You are beautiful. So this is a uh, uh, motivate. I want to give it to you guys, uh, ladies. Uh, so uh, be proud of uh, yourself and uh, be beautiful with whatever clothes that you've been sponsored with. You know, good or not good. You know you are beautiful, so wear it confidently and uh, do it. Uh, maybe uh, Rachel can have some uh, photo shoot yeah, uh, later, so that uh, you can post uh, uh, your kabaya in your your personal uh, page. So uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, I want you to stay uh, stay uh, beautiful all the time and uh, be good to each other, even though it's a competition, and stay positive. All right. That's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. That uh, uh, what they call a, a encourage and a motivation talk. Uh, this is all about uh, beauty pageant. Huh? We are giving you a platform for you to be trained, to you to be uh, promote, and also for you to be uh, what they call uh, uh, what they call skill. Uh, Whatever that you have, uh, the talent, and that you have, even if it's hidden, that is where this platform is where the, a lot of uh, people outside, uh, especially the sponsor, they spotted you and you can be somebody. A lot of celebrities start with a beauty pageant. Okay, before I end this uh, press conference, I suppose any more to talk? Do you want to talk? Okay. I want to brief a little bit of Miss Malaysia Kabaya and also Miss and Mrs. Uh, uh, Kabaya World. <coughs> As this year, 2019 to 2020, we are the busiest year we ever have because uh, we are a lucky and opportunate that we work together with tourism, art and culture. So, we started with uh, the, 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 the pageant search, okay? Uh, we started in June, July, August, and uh, we're going to have final in September for national level, okay? We search to the state, we have 13, 14, 13 states, and after searching for all the state competition, so we have a national final will be on September this year. 
So by the same time, in Kong Kong we do uh, work buyer. Then we started also a few country that more and more joining us. Okay. So on the search, we go for uh, talent. Okay. We go for fashion. We go for food, and we go we go for culture activity. So one of the activity that we launched and we started uh, actually only uh, earlier this month is Joe Malaysia Carnival. So we have Slangor State we started in Klang and followed by Bentong which is Pahang and followed by Malacca, Seremban and many states till 2020. So our vision is to promote, to give uh, awareness and for local and at the same time also we are promote international activity to bring more tourists back to support Malaysia uh, tourism and economy. So there are so many activities and don't ever miss every opportunity for the events that we have. Come and join us and learn what are the things uh, we are providing. It's all the platform for you girls to benefit. Okay? Uh, you all can read our Facebook and also through the awareness of media. And in fact, almost every week we have press conference from state, national, and international level. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jason. I'm really, really impressed how much Dr. Jason does events and everything. It's uh, truly impressive. And to live in Malaysia, me like foreigner, of course I need Kibaya. And finally, when all these two joined together, Kibaya and uh, activities, so that's why I was so happy to be national director for Russia. And finally, I ordered my first uh, town for me, Kibaya, this year, which, which I am now in. And I already ordered my second one for next event. So that's how, how we promote Kibaya. Yeah? We start from that. We start with ourselves to promote it and to wear it and to promote it in our social media, in everywhere, okay, we talk about, we post about, and we say how we are beautiful because of that, and because we make it even more beautiful, okay, and uh, any questions, no? Do we do questions? Yeah, we have a throw to the floor, to the We media. hope someone has questions, <coughs> uh, who is more brave to do the questions? Uh, <laughs> ladies, who are more brave to do the questions? Uh, <laughs> So no questions from the ladies, they are shy for the moment. <laughs> or any media is to get us. Any media? Anastasia, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Any questions? Uh, so far, uh, because today is Tuesday, mostly they are available times every Sunday. So, so far we have around seven for Miss uh, Miss uh, Philippine Kebaya. And for OFW SEPCO, we have around eight. And for MISTER, we have around four. But because uh, since this, they are not available. And the uh, search is still on, so you can announce announce it. All right, we're still looking at to complete our finalists. When is the final? Okay, our grand final is on 25th of August 2019. Okay, remember, right? 25th of August. And that is Sunday. Right? And don't be late, okay? Rule number one. Don't be late. Alright? Okay. Any questions from the finalists? Oh, good. Wow. Come on. Yes, Hi, um, Jula, Miss uh, Old F. The Bill, I'm from Thailand. I have a question. If we have the winner, I want to know how our work after we get the crown. We can help social, how we can help them. Thank you. Nice question. <coughs> What's the name again? Chula. Chula. From Thailand. From Thailand. Okay. For those Thailand, if, let's say if we don't have the Thailand. Uh, competition, we can always appoint 
those who are interested to join our national com uh, international competition. Okay. Uh, to answer you this question, uh, normally once you are selected and you will give your training, there is exposure and uh, what you want through the process. Then if we won the title, of course there are so many things that uh, will never end. That is only the beginning. So, uh, as mentioned before, that uh, uh, there's a lot of sponsor they would like to be choose ambassador. Uh, in case of in, in a back package, you see, a beauty pageant is about package. It's not only beauty. You must be able to talk and you must be able to communicate and also to get connected. Uh, especially how to promote the product and services and uh, promote uh, Kabaya will promote our culture and country itself. Okay? And there is a lot of things that um, there's a lot of people don't understand why the pageant just just win the prizes this one. It's, it's just the beginning. Uh, we, we already have seven seven years. There are many things that we still explore and um, still not enough. We want to go for international and the competition now is for so great. So um, I said back that you there's a lot of opportunity. Let's take the old ladies come behind the bus and we take the picture, okay? Come Who's the best way? Any more question? Any question more? Any question? We're finished, no? Jandre? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, do you ladies need to ask anything you can ask you? Don't be shy. Because this is already a press conference, so you know, it will be official, so ask a question. Later on, you PM everyone. <laughs> okay, ask now. So the grand final is on 25th of August. Yeah? Venue? Grand final, venue, grand venue. final of the venue August 25th. And uh, venue. Uh, the venue. Okay, we will target our venue will be on the tourism, art and culture venue. So Matic is one of the potential. Uh, we have uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, JKKN, uh, the, 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 the venue or Craft Dangan Malaysia venue. So it depends on the FDT, uh, ability, uh, uh, is a place, the date, that. So we are working out on that. And these two months, important is once, before you join the competition, be ready yourself, be prepared yourself. So this is very important. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so because we have two categories, okay? So number one is the Philippine Kebaya. Of course, Philippine Kebaya, there's no price, but we have a lot of sponsors, all right? It depends, all right? But for Mr. and Ms. OFW said, since I already announced it before, so we have to 15,000, including cash, uh, services, products, since mostly the sponsors are, you know, school. And not only one, this is the very big questions in the market, right? And not only the one who's going to sponsor for the, you know, for the win up to 15, we have also other colleges and other languages who's willing to sponsor also. So not only me, right? So since I'm also promoting my education, that is the reason why, of course, you know, education is very important to us. Without this, we cannot learn anything, right? Okay. So any question for that price? So we up to 15,000, including cash, uh, services, products, and... The center, you have the center. Yeah. yeah. All right. So our center, uh, we have few branches. Uh, we have Pusat Bahas the Kitian Jaya. This is the first uh, language center in Malaysia. All right. Not only one. And we have also going to launch my another center, which is Pusat Latihan Pernyagaan Universal in English. It is a uh, business training academy. All right. This business uh, training uh, academy, we have a lot of courses. We have certificate of age care. We have accounting. We have business management and so on. And also this training school, we can also offer diploma, all right? Uh, external diploma, which offer from Australia or Singapore. So that is uh, also one of the sponsor, all right? So that's all. Any questions about that? And also Miss Val is also one of the sponsor of our uh, Kebaya and also OFW.
right? So a lot of sponsors. Actually, good news. I I talked to one of the Australian. I think uh, they are also willing to uh, 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 Australian community, right? So they're also willing to sponsor our event financially and also products. So I'm just they're just waiting, right? Any questions? So Filipino, any questions? Does those who are involved in participating in this competition make yourself also to be public yourself in Facebook? Um, this is the opportunity also to brand yourself, to introduce yourself. That is where the training from. If you are shy, and that is not even a start. See, a beauty pageant, as well mentioned just now, is about confidence. So. Introduce yourself to your social media, to your friends around, and also promote our kebaya. And that is where the awareness is up from yourself. Okay? So most importantly, you need to learn how to be a good spokesperson. You know, not only being pretty, wearing the kebaya, have beautiful hair, have beautiful makeup, but once you start talking, people will put their put the first attention on you when you start talking. So especially if not necessary if you're beautiful, that means you can be the winner. No. Some girls they may not be very beautiful. They may have the of course you definitely have to have the basic elegant look that they are looking for in a in a candidate as well. So uh, in talking and carrying herself in public and talking to people especially you need to network socialize you know, that's where people can take notice of you so once you, if you cannot talk very well then um, your you know you people won't recognize you for it because you don't have that intelligence right so but don't worry even though you're new as for our pageantry we have so many trainers mainly like uh, Teresa Dianchu she's our image consultant you know our our engineer you know, like the choreographers and catwalk gurus like Valentino, Trixie, Trixie Low, and we have, you know, we even have a Keep Valentine who came in for to teach you girls, to teach our participants about fine dining ethic, everything, and how we will teach you from A to Z. From, like, we even have PK and I, we even have, uh, what else? We have a fitness uh, class as well, Dr. Christopher, so we are very. We are very fortunate to have all these uh, trainers with us who have been supporting us and as well as the rest of the people as well. So don't worry if you have no knowledge or zero knowledge of catwalk and everything. We will teach you basically A to Z and definitely the time here will be very, very worth it. You cannot, you know, it's uh, very valuable and very precious. So once you're in, you should put, a, you should put like more than 100% to it. Thank you very much for everyone to attend and let's please take a group picture with all our future beauty queens. Please come, come to us behind and uh, picture for the history of the Philippine Kibaya 